As part of the U.S. Coast Guard investigation into the sinking of the freighter El Faro last October 1st, audio was played today of the ship's captain calling for help before he and his crew perished. Marley Hall has that story. It's 7 a.m. on October 1st, and the El Faro is taking on water near the eye of Hurricane Joaquin. The ship's captain, Michael Davidson, tries to reach the company on shore, but the call goes to voicemail. We have a navigational incident. Everybody's safe, uh, but I want to talk to you. Davidson then tries calling the company's emergency call center and asks for a qualified individual or QI. The operator seems to not get the urgency. Okay, sir, I just need your name, please. Yes, ma'am, my name is Michael Davidson. Ship's name? El Faro. Spell that? E-L? Oh, man. The, t the, the clock is ticking. Can I please speak with a QI? Another operator comes on the line. Hi, thank you for waiting. Just really briefly, what is, your, um, what is the problem you're having? I have a marine emergency and I would like to speak to a QI. We've lost the main propulsion unit. The engineers cannot get it going. Minutes later, Captain Davidson is connected to John Lawrence, the manager on call in Jacksonville. Davidson tells him he thinks he can pump the water from the ship and nobody is panicking. About 30 minutes later, the Coast Guard tells Lawrence they believe the ship is only disabled and downplayed the need for a rescue mission. Can you tell me what the, uh, what the plans were you planning on doing now? Um, so right now, right now, based off of all the information that you've, uh, that you've provided me, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the distress phase currently uh, because, okay. because they're not at risk of sinking. Investigators hope to get more answers from the ship's voyage data recorder or black box. The NTSB is launching another search mission for it in April. Jim? Molly, thank you very much.